Kylie Williams gets emotional after being away from her child for the first time. Every working mom is a f***ing superhero and I don't know how you guys do it. If, especially if you have to leave for like a long time. I just feel like I'm failing her and my heart is broken I gotta stop crying <laughs> this is only like the first or the second day so I guess it'll get easier right I just miss her. She misses me. So, um, I'm at a hotel for work. I haven't traveled. I haven't left my kid since she was born. So it's like almost three years. I take her with me. If I had to go someplace, but you know, every time I talk to her, she's like, Mommy, come home. I just, I don't even know why I'm on here talking to you guys. But, like, if I just, See, here's the thing, right? If I wanted any kind of attention, right? I would, like, look for it. But y'all, you don't even belong here, babe. You don't. You're not among the, like, two people who actually follow me that, like, care about me, right? You came here from a, a social media page, a gossip site, right? You don't care. So... It's all good, okay? Um, but yeah, so I do feel better. <laughs> Surprisingly, um, I, I, I feel better a little bit. Now, I don't know what it's going to feel like when I talk to my daughter again, because again, it's the talking to her. Like, I can disconnect and just, you know, pace around this room. It's a nice room. It's fine. I'm not going to complain. Um, but when I talk to her, that's when it's sad. It's sad. I don't know anybody who wouldn't be sad to hear your baby crying that they need you. And you can't do anything about it. And you're like, I know you need me, baby. I miss you. I love you. But I feel better. Look, it only took, you know, like 20 people to say f***ing ugly things to me to make me feel better. Not better. Um, I still miss my daughter, but it did take my mind off of it, right? <laughs> I know. I don't know anybody an explanation. But I do think an update is what I was trying to give you guys. In, in, in an hour, I'm not crying anymore. There was a lot of tissue on this bed. And you could see the puff is still happening in the eyes. But I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not having my pity party. <laughs> I'm not in a pity party anymore because now I just remember how ugly and disgusting people are on social media. <laughs> and that um, kind of helps pull you out of your sadness, right? But I do want to say, um, I know that I'm doing this for her. I know that I'm doing, not just for her, I'm doing it for me, right? Um, um, I can't talk about the project that I'm working on, but I, um, I'm in quarantine for it right now. 
I do have to miss my daughter's birthday. It's on the 12th of March, and I will not be back for it. Um, that's kind of a hard pill to swallow. But again, she's, you know, she's only two. She's not going to remember it, and I've got some plans for how it's going to be cute. Um, thank you, Shia. I love you. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> If nobody cares, Dee Dee, then why are you here, Bubba? Go back to the shade room. Just off you go. Um, <laughs> Amiga's Cheetah's friends for life. Be sure to like, comment, being, and subscribe. Being compounded, leaving your kid, all that stuff is kind of just, you know, that's what's happening to me right now. Um... They are not contacts. These are like just my eye. Like there's nothing in them. I look, see, it is not a contact. I promise. I don't have contacts. They've always been my eyes. I think it's this shirt is kind of like popping off of them. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I only have one kid. I do, and I think that that is like I've heard from a lot of like the moms that were trying to support and give me some words of encouragement that it does get easier you know with your second kid I think I probably made the mistake by not leaving her earlier right I should have like left her but I like I took her to Sabrina's wedding I had my sister come and <laughs> um watch her while I was at Sabrina's wedding um but I think it probably would have been easier before she could talk like before she could actually articulate mommy I need you like those kind of things because that just like breaks my heart you know it does it breaks my heart um and hopefully like I'll I'll get better at it maybe um maybe it will hurt less um and I am really sensitive I'm a super I cry a lot I think it's healthy to cry um I'm very uh, emotionally open, I think. So I, you know, I don't like to internalize things. I like to just get them out and get them gone. Um, <laughs> thank you, Shauna. I love you. Um, yeah, no, when they start talking, it's great, but then you can, like, when I, when we did sleep training and she was like six months, she was crying and she was like, <laughs> um, but, I think it it's different now when she's like, Mommy, I need you. I need you, Mommy. You know, like those kind of things. Mommy, you come home now. And she doesn't understand time. She doesn't, you know, she's little. But she's with, she's with her dad and her cousins and my sister. She's with a bunch of people who love her. And I'm all alone. And I think that that's probably the hardest. Once work starts, I think it'll get easier too. I'm just kind of sitting here. I can't leave. And I'm a big, like, outside person. I like when I start having a panic or anything like that. I like to get outside and get some fresh air. And I'm not able to do that. Um, so I think this is going to probably be my new technique is to just, like, you know, try to be open and honest on social media and then wait for some nasty, disgusting blog site to pick it up and all the horrible people that frequent that site to come on my page and um, cheer me up by asking me. It worked today. I don't know. It's magic. Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival.